Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Uh, getting ready here to do your love reading. Uh, the only thing I'm going to mention is that there is an extended uh, reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Uh, I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading, and I'll dive uh, deeper into that with the person you are connecting with. It will also be in the comments as well. So with that Capricorn, let's just get started. Let's see what the energy is here for you. Let's see what the energy here is for Capricorn in love. What's the energy here for Capricorn in love? Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. I feel like Capricorn, there's an energy of, um, I just have to say, I'm picking up a third party. So it feels like there may have been somebody who interfered in a connection between you and someone. Now, I'm going to say a third party can be anybody. It could be, you know, it could be somebody cheating. It could be somebody who is a friend. It could be a family member, all right? I do see here uh, justice and judgment, okay? Now, some of you, this could be uh, a situation where it ended up in divorce or legal separation. Others, it's going to be somebody here that you have history with. Now, it's interesting because you have romantic feelings and you have new love. So I can take this a couple ways. Some of you, I feel like there is going to be an opportunity between you and this person to rekindle things. Others, I feel this could be an indication that you're going to meet somebody new and that you're going to fall in love. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's just see what the energy shows. Um, I feel like anything goes here, Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. <clears throat> what messages do you have here for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know in love? Wow. Picking up Aquarius energy, definitely getting your energy, Capricorn. Strong Aquarius, strong Virgo energy. So let's see what the energy shows here. Yeah, look at that. Judgment again. And I feel like I want to pull two more cards from the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, look at this. We have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. We also have a King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, whether this is somebody new or a specific person. It could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. So very interesting, uh, Capricorn. I see an emperor here, divine masculine energy, could be an Aries, and we have the star card. So I feel like you could be healing from a past situation, somebody that you saw yourself with for the long term, or maybe you were in a relationship. Some of you could have been coming out of a breakup or um, <clears throat> A divorce, legal separation, as I said here, we have judgment and we also have the Hierophant. I'm sorry, not the Hierophant, the Hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like there's somebody who is thinking about you. This does feel like there is romantic feelings here. I see someone really thinking about you and they're trying to, I feel, figure out how do I approach Capricorn? Now, this could be somebody from your past, but this can also be you, you know, really learning from the past. Some of you may be meeting somebody new. I'm going to clarify the energies. We're going to see where we're at here. But I almost feel like there is this emperor energy who is really thinking about the past, thinking about how do I approach this somebody who has feelings for you. We have uh, the High Priestess, and we also have your energy, the Nine of Pentacles, okay? There is something I feel, Capricorn, that is unknown about the situation here, okay, in love. Now, I feel like 
Some of you may be feeling this somebody here has been secretive. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what this unknown is. And then what's interesting is, like I said, I felt uh, drawn here to pull the bottom of the, bottom of the deck. The first card was uh, the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is the upcoming energy. So I feel like there's an opportunity here uh, in love for you, something big, but I'm not too sure yet if this is somebody here from the past. So let's start clarifying. I do want to look at uh, what we got here. So interesting enough, we have King of Cups, we have Knight of Wands, and look at that, we have the Empress. So I do feel there is somebody here, either you're going to fall in love with, some of you it's a new person, or I do feel like there could be somebody returning here, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also picking up Libra energy. But I see that there is the possibility here of a new beginning. Okay, new beginning in love for you. So let's do some clarifying. I'm going to first clarify uh, this justice judgment area up here, or justice judgment card. Why is justice judgment here for legal matters? Okay. Wow. I feel like um, what happened in the past made you Capricorn realize that it's time to focus on you, okay? I feel like somebody didn't appreciate you and it made you go within and decide, you know what, I'm focusing on me. And it's also a card of healing. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah. We got here wedding rings and we have palm tree. So I feel like this is someone I feel who... Um, maybe you were pretty flexible with, maybe this is somebody that you were patient with, but I feel like this was somebody, either you were married to this person, or this is someone you saw as, you know, your, your person, your eternal love, someone you wanted to be married to. Okay. I feel like you were very flexible with this person, but I feel like this person, you did not feel stable or secure with this person if you were not in a relationship or commitment with this person. Okay. So we got the star card here and we have the emperor. So let's clarify the star card. Tell me more about this star card. Okay. Yeah. This person made you feel like you were not enough. Uh, this is someone I feel that could have sabotaged the connection, the relationship with you. Yeah, picking up a twin flame as well. Okay, that you and this person were very drawn to each other. Um, and I feel like, you know, what this person didn't have, okay, what this person couldn't give you is what you could give them. So that's where they were very drawn to your energy. I feel like with the star energy, uh, this is someone who you were, the two of you were not in alignment. So I feel like you were like sunshine to this person, but this person was probably very cold, or very distant um, is the energy I'm getting. Because I feel like you didn't get a whole lot from this person is what I'm seeing here. Some of you, like I said, could have been a divorce, a legal separation. Let's clarify this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Yeah, very self-absorbed self energy is what I'm getting here, okay? But I will say, you got photograph on the bottom of the deck, so this person's been looking at your photos. <laughs> They've been looking at your photos, missing you, okay? Even though they're self-absorbed here, um, this you know, a lot of you, this is a twin flame energy, but let's keep going. Tell me more about the hermit. I feel like this person is really thinking about you and thinking about the past, but this could be your own intuition as well. Yeah, the, the clock here. Some time has passed, I feel, since you and this person have been together. It does feel like there's a time of healing. Tell me more about judgment. I will pull another tarot card because I want to see what this person's actually thinking about, but we have sunglasses. Oh yeah, look at this. I said somebody's looking at your photos. They're watching you. Somebody from the past, okay? This person's watching you. I do feel like there's separation or distance between this person. Huh. They still have feelings for you. That's what it's saying there. I like you, okay? Now, um... I'm 
almost feel like there's going to be communication. Like they could send you some sort of flirty text. I want to go to the tarot now. I want to see what this person's thinking about with the hermit. Tell me more about this hermit energy. Tell me more about this hermit energy. Yeah, four of cups. So right now, oh boy, Capricorn. I feel like that something happened. I feel that there was some sort of separation here between you and this person. And look, four of cups and the ace of cups. There's the hermit energy again, which I'm clarifying. This is someone I feel that since time has passed, they're not feeling content. They're not feeling content about things. Now, I'm going to say too, this may be somebody because I was feeling it with this energy. I like you. They may be thinking that you may be dating somebody else or seeing somebody else or you may have options. And they're not too sure if the opportunity is there with you anymore. Okay. So I feel like that is also saying here, that's why time has passed here between you and this person is because they don't know if the opportunity is still there. Because I feel like this is somebody who um, a third party situation interfered. And I feel like it led to a separation, okay, or distance, or, you know, maybe even divorce for some of you. And I feel like you kind of let go. I feel you surrendered and you let go of this energy. That's what it's showing me there. And I feel now after time has passed, this person is kind of feeling like they don't know if the opportunity is going to be there or not. Let's see what the unknown is here with the high priestess. Tell me more about this high priestess. Oh. Okay. What I'm picking up there. Capricorn, I feel like there's somebody that you work with that's very, very attracted to you. This is a very attractive energy. I feel like there is somebody here gaining the courage to communicate with you, okay? I feel like this is a new person uh, because we have the, the Wheel of Fortune, so it feels like there could be, like I said, I felt like a new energy here. Now I'm going to say take it how it resonates, you know, if there's nobody at work, I feel like, you know, this could be talk about you working on yourself is the energy that I'm getting. Like I said, I felt an energy here of you going within, you know, doing some self work work as a result of the situation with this person. But I feel like there's someone attracted to you right now. That could be, um, you know, this new love energy that I'm picking up uh, that you work with in some sort of way. Okay, I feel like this person is trying to gain the courage to uh, communicate with you, to start something with you is what I'm getting. They're seeing you in Empress energy, seeing you as very kind, very nurturing, very motherly type of energy. Okay, very interesting. So I'm picking up two energies here. Let's clarify um, this Ace of Pentacles because it's showing me there's some sort of opportunity here for you. And then I'm going to clarify these energies because I'm really picking up two energies. So I may uh, pull some more cards with this specific person from the past and the new energy I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at that. Page of Pentacles. We got Page of Pentacles and we also have Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody wants an opportunity. And look, we have another three here. Maybe it's you, uh, Capricorn. Uh, there, there's a third party situation. Because, you know, take it how it resonates. But I see somebody coming towards you. Could be another earth sign as well. A Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Wanting the opportunity with you. Okay, let's get up here. Tell me more about this new love energy. And you know, it could be that this person still has feelings for you and then there's a new love opportunity, as I was saying. But let's see why romantic feelings is here. Tell me more about romantic feelings. Okay. Yeah, that's somebody from the past. 
we got somebody here who still has feelings for you. They're missing you. We, we said that already here. They're missing you. They're thinking about you. They're looking at your photos. They're reminiscing. That's that energy. They miss your attention. I'm getting that as well. They're missing your attention. Okay, maybe they see you getting attention. Like I said here, I feel like this is someone who is not too sure if the opportunity is still there with you. They've been doing a lot of inner reflection here, wondering, I feel, if you have other opportunities. And I said that earlier, and I feel like that's why this person has not come around sooner, because they're not sure if the opportunity is there. There it is, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, feeling you, feeling you walk away here, maybe exploring other opportunities, as I said. Now let's go to this new love energy. Tell me more about this new love energy. Now in the extended, you get some timing because I do look at the next four weeks energy. So we'll see who comes in um, in the next four weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's the same energy. Somebody is very, very attracted to you. King of Swords could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, somebody's interested. I feel like somebody's trying to figure you out there, okay? They're kind of strategizing here about what action to take. And that's what I'm seeing here too. Now, it could be this person wanting to rekindle things, wanting a new beginning. But I am seriously picking up two energies. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with two energies and I'm going to pull some more cards. Because I didn't show you this. I just now saw it again. At the bottom of the deck here, you have an engagement ring. And with that big opportunity, that Ace of Pentacles, I feel there's somebody coming towards you that there could be a relationship, a commitment here. You have King of Swords and you also have here the Ten of Cups. Okay. So I feel there's a relationship here in your future. I'm just not too sure who it is. Okay. So let's go uh let's see what the energy is here we're going to pick up some energy here from the past person what can you share with capricorn regarding the past person yeah look at this yep i said this earlier you're going to probably get some sort of flirty message or fun message um, something where they're just going to kind of feel it out with you. But we got disappointment here. They know that they disappointed you because this is someone I feel who had options or there was a third party or they were tempted by an option. And so they're seriously trying to figure out how do I fix things? Is Capricorn going to be open to me coming towards Capricorn? Does Capricorn have other options? I feel like this is as this hermit energy. They're doing a lot of thinking here. Okay. And I feel like this person is somebody who's very, very logical. Um, they know they disappointed you. So interesting. Let's see what energy we have with the new energy I'm picking up. For those of you that feel, um, you know, that there is somebody new around you or possibly here, okay, may not have shown up, but I feel like there's somebody in your work area or someone having to do with your work. What can you share with Capricorn about this new energy? Wow. That's all I got to say is wow. And look, confirmation here. Your energy is on the bottom of the deck. And look who showed up again, the King of Swords. I just showed you the King of Swords on the bottom of this deck. That there is potential for a happy relationship with a new person I, I'm sensing here. Now, but what they're showing me, uh, Capricorn, is that this other relationship is very heavy for you. So they're saying here, like, if you can let go of the past, you can let go of the disappointment, you can move forward, because I do feel like you still carry this energy with you. It's very, very heavy. They're going to, they're saying here, the reward is you are going to manifest that Ten of Cups energy, this loving relationship, somebody who will make you feel complete in an emotional way. Because I feel like this was someone who was very unstable or somebody who didn't make you feel secure. 
all right you may feel secure with yourself but their actions made you feel like things were very unbalanced and unsecure <clears throat> so I feel like Spirit's trying to show you you're going to have another option here. It's always going to be your choice. I do see this other person missing you, having feelings for you. But remember, you have the not enough card. And that's where you're going to have to decide, is it going to be enough? If this person returns, is it going to be enough? So we're going to, we're going to explore this more in the extended, see how it plays out over the next four weeks and dive deeper. I'll dive deeper into this person from the past. I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box and the comments. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.